A few weeks ago, we spotted something on multiplayer that could have been potentially the biggest diamond mule deer that I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. And not only that, it would have been our first ever diamond muley with the recurve bow. Now, unfortunately, the game crashed and we weren't able to get it because we were on multiplayer. But guess what? The other day I was out here hunting for water buffalo and I took down about 40 water buffalo. But off in the distance, I spotted a massive rack. I spotted that thing and sure enough, it's a dime potential giant muley. So since we're on my map this time, we have all day to take our time, study this buck, figure out his behavior and kind of where he hangs out, where he beds, where he drinks and where he even eats. And my goal is to try and figure out a spot to set up a tree stand in between the spot where he beds and where he drinks. And hopefully we can cross paths with this massive muley buck. Now that should be pretty awesome because we're going to be within about 60 yards out from where this giant buck is going to come out. Do you see where I marked right there? That is exactly where he beds. Honestly, we definitely should be able to because it's only right there. Not only that, we can almost take the shot from right here. If we had to, we could always use the hawk edge bow. But then again, that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of this entire video because I've never gotten a giant diamond mule deer or even a diamond mule deer ever with the recurve bow. Now, before we attempt to go after that giant dime potential muley, we're actually gonna take some practice shots here real quick, because not only have I never taken down that big of a diamond mule deer with a bow, but I've never taken down a diamond mule deer with the recurve bow ever. So we're gonna make sure we're definitely on before we go after this thing. We're gonna go for about a 10 yard shot, 20 yard shot, and then a 30 yard shot. So here we go. Uh, okay, the first shot didn't register even though we hit pretty much the exact same spot. There's a money shot there, 20 yards. And a pretty decent shot, a little bit high, but there we go. Another good shot. Good enough for me. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this now. We have our tent set up way over here on this point and where that giant muley actually beds is right here and he drinks right here. So what we're gonna to have to do is go in when he's bedded and we're gonna come in from this tent, work our way straight directly to this point. Hopefully we have a south wind blowing directly in our face and then we're gonna ease our way on in and get into this tree stand right here. Typically, that buck actually beds right here as you saw before. So if we can get into the stand here, we should be looking pretty good. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of an obstacle here because we got a water buffalo calling right on top of our tree stand. And we really gotta be careful not to spook that thing because our giant muley is gonna be bedded right over there. In fact, I think I might be able to see. There's the water buffalo right below our tree stand. Are you kidding me? Seriously, you're telling me you couldn't find any other place to go on this whole entire map besides right underneath our tree stand. Oh, geez. Oh my God. There he is right there. He's 150 yards away and he's coming in. Oh, look at that buck. Wow. Holy. I knew he was going to be close, but I didn't know he was going to be that close. Wow. Look at that beautiful buck. He's a beast. He is a monster, monster buck. All right, so actually what I want to do is I want to get down and I want to put out some calls a little bit more to the right side here. That way when he comes in, he could stop broadside, maybe like 20 yards away from us. Man, that would be so perfect if that happens. And then I could always get up into the stand as well. So we'll put out some calls right here. So I'm just going to call a bunch of times and get up into the stand. Also, another thing I really want to do is try out this uh, scent eliminator. I don't know if it really works that good, but either way, I definitely want to use it just to be able to increase our chances at this massive buck coming in. Which, oh my God, there he is right there. 
Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he's coming. He's only 80 yards out right there. Oh my god. We'll just let him keep working his way in. Oh, he bet it down. Look at that. He bet it down right there. Look how wide that thing is. That's got to be 50 inches wide. That's got to be 50 inches plus wide right there. Wow. And he bet it down less than 80 yards away from us. That goes to show you how smart he is. Even though we called a couple times down on the bottom, he doesn't really care too much, clearly. So we're going to have to go down there again and try to call him one more time, which right here should be perfect. All right, let's call. Now I want to call, wait a couple seconds, call again, and then call a lot. All right, let's get back in, let's get back in. Did we get his attention? No, we didn't. Man. We're so close. But yet so far. From this monster muley buck. He's only 80 yards away. But we just can't quite get his attention. I have this idea. It might sound kind of crazy to you guys. But what if we took a shot at this buffalo here? To get that muley to stand up. <laughs> it didn't even work. <laughs> After all that, it didn't even work. The buffalo ran right past it. And yes, we definitely got the buffalo. Well, it could have worked. It definitely could have worked, but... Unfortunately, it didn't. Ooh, that actually might help us out. We just got a call from a puma over there. And since the buck is between us and him, that actually might send that buck this direction. Oh my god, I hear something. I hear something. What is it? What is it? How did that happen? How did that happen? He's right behind us. Uh, how? Wh what? You gotta be kidding me. You know what happened? The puma scared him and he came right past us. But we never saw him because he was on the back side. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. He was right there. 25 yards away. So what happened is the puma probably came and that buck must have got up. It ran through these trees here. I never saw him and somehow he ended up right there. Oh my god. I should have seen that. I don't know how I didn't see it. I honestly... Oh my god. I mean, sometimes it happens. You can't always be looking at the exact moment when the animal's moving because you just don't know. And I thought he went back that way, so I'm looking over here. Meanwhile, he's trotting in this direction and probably was sitting right there. I hear something coming, but I'm... Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Look it. That's exactly what happened. You got to be freaking kidding me. Actually hit her a little bit far back. Definitely got her though. Dude, this puma came in. And pretty much messed up our entire hunt. Because had that puma not came in, eventually he would have gotten up. And trotted on in. He probably would have. I'm not saying right away, but eventually he probably would have. Like, if the wind eventually starts blowing off this way, and then he comes in from over here, now that there's no more threats from that uh, puma, this buck might come back in. Nah, he's not gonna. The wind is blowing directly towards him. So even if he does come back in, he's not gonna come into range. 
We're gonna have to come back here tomorrow. But that's alright. At least we took care of that water buffalo over there. And now we took down this one here. Alright, well, let's grab this uh, puma. Another water buffalo right on top of us there. So there's the puma we shot out of the tree stand. All right, the lung is way up here. So we literally have to hold for that front shoulder to go for that angle of a shot. All right, guys, it's the next day now. This is going to be our second attempt at getting this giant dime potential muley buck. Now, we actually have another perfect wind blowing directly in our face again. So I'm very fortunate for that. But also, if you look at our scent eliminator here, it shows that we still have 50% scent eliminator on. And clearly it did absolutely nothing because that buck bolted almost instantly. Why must this happen? You gotta be kidding me. We just shot one. Now we got another one. Oh my, unbelievable. Oh, I really hope that doesn't mess up our hunt. Hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. Sometimes you never know. What I'm hoping for is that maybe it called over here and since our buck is over here Then it might not spook it might not. I mean we can have high hopes, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I suppose You know if only that buck would have came in when we were calling instead of just sat there bedded We could have had a really good chance at getting that buck if he would have just came into the call and cooperated but I guess that's how he gets big. Not by being dumb, that's for sure. All right, let's pay attention now. Because he could be right over there. That's not him. But he's probably bedded right next to that buck. I would imagine he's probably right next to the other buck. That's going to be him. That's definitely going to be him. All right, let's slow down. Let's slow down. Why do I hear something right on top of me? No, I think the puma just spooked our buck. Yep, he definitely spooked our buck. All right. Oh, man, they both came right past. I didn't see the first one, but I heard it. There's a couple of does right there. I can't imagine he wouldn't have been in there already. Well, can you say 0 for 2 because I am not seeing any sign of this giant buck. He's nowhere to be found. That means he definitely spooked from that puma a second time. So we're going to have to come back here again tomorrow and hopefully that puma decides to move on. All right, guys, here we go. Third time's a charm. Come on. Third time's a charm. We're less than 100 yards out from our stand and everything is looking pretty good so far. Oh my God. It's not him. That's another giant time potential muley buck. But that is not the diamond. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess I told you there was two big bucks here, I think, right? I never really got a good look at him, but holy 275 minimum on that thing. Are you kidding me? That is massive. Anyways, let's try and get their attention. Come on. <laughs> we barely got into the stand in time. I didn't realize they got up that close to us. All right, we got a three right there. Another three. Come on, where is the five? Another buck. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. All right, well, that did not work out at all. We tried three different times to try and get that buck to come into the tree stand, and he does not want to come in. So this time, we're trying a different approach. Rather than coming in along the shoreline, we're gonna come in on the north side over here and try and spot him from up high. That way we can kind of spot and stalk this massive buck, move into range, and then take a shot. But this time, hopefully we can see a little bit better and kind of spot him way before he notices us. I can't tell what it is or how big it is, but that's definitely a buck right there. That might be our buck. Nope, it's definitely not our buck. But the 
the whole herd of muleys is right there. So one of them is going to be him. All right, we got to get closer. But like I said, at least we have some excellent cover here to work with. prone barely moving nowhere near that water buffalo and out of nowhere he just comes and attacks us oh my god we finally found him i can't even believe it but look right there you can tell it's him from a mile away look at that guys we finally found him i don't know why it's spotting a doe clearly that is nowhere near a doe but wow that's definitely him there we go. We got a spotting on him. Okay. We have a really good setup if he actually would come into the call, but since he doesn't come into the call, we don't exactly have the greatest setup. Now, could we try and call him in? And then tuck in that brush? I suppose maybe we probably could. And I think we should at least try. Oh my god, there he is. Holy, oh, look at that thing. Dude, he just bet it down. He just bet it down. Wow. All right, yeah, he bet it down, but then we were standing up, so he saw us. But now we're not standing up anymore, so he should bet back down. If he bets down right there, man, we're going to be setting pretty good. Come on, come on. Just bet back down. Just bed down right there. Yes! He's bedded down. Less than 40 yards away from us right there, guys. This is the moment we've been waiting for this whole time. Look at the size of that buck. All right. Now, it's time to make something happen. We gotta be super, super careful. He's a little bit out of range still. So we gotta try and get uh, maybe 20 yards closer. And then what we have to do is crouch up and hope that he actually gets up the same time that we crouch up, that we can get the full draw, line up for a shot and let one fly. There he is right there. Oh my God, here he comes, here he comes. He's gonna come through that opening right here. Here he comes, here he comes. It's gonna be about a 25 yard shot, guys. Oh my God. Perfect shot. Yes. Yes. What a heck of a shot. He's going down. Holy. Not gonna lie, we dropped a tad bit low and hit forward on that because of the wind. But we definitely smoked him. We definitely smoked him. We got really good blood. And he's piled up right here. We finally got him down. Finally. An absolute monster of a muley buck down. Hit him right in that front shoulder. There's nothing else we could have hit. Absolutely nothing else we could have hit. He's a diamond! Oh my god! Look at the score on that thing! 341! That's my biggest T-Rex diamond muley ever! And we got him with the recurve bow! Oh, oh, what an epic shot! Going right for the heart! Oh, man! Oh, that's a giant! Dude, that's a max weight! He weighed almost 460 pounds! A right lung shot at 23 yards out, 341.20, giant diamond, Truax Muley down. Unbelievable. Wow. Now it makes sense why that thing was so smart. It really makes sense. 
He had a spread of 58 inches. 58 inches. Look at the size of that. That's my biggest T-Rex muley of all time. And I can't believe we got him with the recurve. Before this one, my biggest Truax muley buck was a 331. And that was actually the non-typical messed up looking rack. The fact that we have a very symmetrical true rack that scored over 340 is just absolutely phenomenal. It really is. But anyways, let's now get back to the trophy lodge and go take a look at this beautiful buck. All right, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. Now, first, I'm going to show you our previous biggest Truax diamond muley. And that's going to be this guy right here. This one scored 339.7. But it's also a messed up looking kind of non-typical muley, which, yeah, it's interesting, but it's nowhere near as cool as the buck that we just got. And not only that, we probably shot this thing with the 30 odd six, if I'm not mistaken. Well, here is gonna be our new personal best of all time, Mule Deer. And not only that, we took him down with the recurve bow. So our biggest all time diamond muley is right here. This one scores 341.2. Holy, he looks absolutely amazing. But I do wanna show you this too. This is our second coolest animal now, which is this uh, 280 melanistic muley buck, which we did get, I believe, with the 30 odd six. But let's get back here and not take away all the amazements of this thing. Wow, I can't even believe that we made it happen. But we didn't give up. And it definitely paid off. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing weekend. And we'll see you next time.